The first ever Hawaiian Wheel of Mud. Let's go! Let's go! That's not true. The first of this year. If you haven't seen any of my last couple of videos, uh, I'm in Hawaii for two months. Uh, if you're wondering why, it is deeply rooted within my blood, within my ancestry, to colonize. <laughs> So naturally, I took all of my wealth, I loaded up on a boat, and I traveled to an island where I'm probably not welcome. <laughs> and you can't stop me! Literally every single person in this building is an old Japanese person, and they all smile and look at me, but they all think the same thing. Okay, now for the matters at hand, Wheel of Mutt! Dude, it's the wild card playoffs. Now, for you guys, there's no hiccups, but for me, I haven't played in three weeks, and this is the wild card playoffs. It's Houston Texans season. We've assembled a squad of, this is probably the weirdest team I've ever put together. We've got Steve Smith, Jamar Chase, and Tory Holt as our wide receivers. We've got all stock Jameer Gibbs, Joe Flacco in the backfield. We've got Kittle, Gronk, and Shannon Sharp at tight ends. My offensive line, I have left guard Geno Atkins and Trent Williams, prestige. Did I call it or did I call it? Without a doubt, I know we keep saying this. This is the best year I have ever had for prestiges. Every single prestige has been absolutely electric. Now, I will say this, Trent Williams, I'm not really gonna pat myself on the back for this one. It was very obvious to me that he was gonna get a team of the year. And lo and behold, he gets a team of the year. We prestige 94, Trent Williams. Williams in anticipation of 97 Trent Williams and here he is he's the same card but just plus three in every stat and hopefully he has really good discounted abilities but this is my first look at the card itself so I, I don't actually know I don't actually know if he has good discounted abilities we're gonna find out right now 97 Trent Williams got six ability slots that is a good sign natural talent for free post up for one nasty streak for one I don't know if we have the bandwidth for ability points on the offensive line. Oh my God. What? Wait, so I can go edge protect? Okay, edge protector plus a natural talent for one is actually so good. Okay, we're gonna find a way to make that work. Wow, that's that's insanely good. So 94 limited Christmas Trent Williams replaced by 97 team of the year. Trent Williams, another amazing prestige. Anyone who's confused, I know most of you aren't, but when I prestige a player, I'm always entitled to their best version. And I'm getting a FaceTime from Elle. What's up, Slayer Alliums? You wanna say hi to the Wheel of Mutt? She said... She said, go WOM, go football, and wow, Matt, your cock is so long and girthy. She said, go sports. Can you hear me? Did you have no response to that? We also, of course, have the opportunity to complete the perfect season. We did not lose a single game in the regular season. And now we're looking at the wild card slash divisional. There's only two playoff games until the Super Bowl. So you can consider this the wild card or the divisional. Let's talk about what we may potentially be upgrading. Here. Oh, also, since I've been gone, they actually updated the AP limit on offense to nine. So I don't actually have to switch anything. We can just add Trent Williams, edge protector, natural talent. That's perfect. Defense will probably be what we focus on today. Now, I do have a really cool budget linebacker core of Pete Werner, Logan Wilson, Harold Carmichael, but all of these guys could use an upgrade. Additionally, probably Geno Atkins, uh, but Devonta Adams, Sertan, and Witherspoon are pretty damn good. And then Sean T and Derwin have been insane, so I don't really think I'd mess with my safeties too much. Yeah, there's not too much to do other than linebackers, backup D tackle, potentially getting a new right tackle. Now, keep in mind, this is the playoffs, which means we only get two wheel spins, but the wheel is juiced accordingly. If we make it past the wild card, it'll be even better for the NFC Championship and then of course even better for the Super Bowl but one game at a time here's our very first wheel spin of the wild card playoff our first game in Hawaii and hopefully an insane wheel spin to add to this team it's certainly gonna be an upgrade it just depends what team team wheel 94 to 96 unfortunately this does not go to 97 97 is team of the year so we're gonna get some really good stuff it just won't be team of the year it's gonna be the Baltimore Ravens no it's not it's the New York Giants I'm kidding, guys. That's awesome. I'm really excited. The only reason I was excited about Ravens is I know they have a lot of good options. I just don't know what the Giants are going to have here. 94 to 96 Giants player. So they have a 96 Michael Strahan. Can't really use him. Will Anderson, both are better. 96 Plaxico. This Plaxico is nasty. He's six foot five with 96 speed. He definitely would be an upgrade. I think we might, it might have to be Plaxico. So Plaxico is a really good option. Take a look at the 94, 95s as well, though. Justin Tuck's a no. Odell's a no. 
Saquon's a no. Honestly, the Giants have really cool players, but I think we're gonna have to go Plaxico Burris. Having a big, big bomb deep threat wide receiver, I'm actually really excited about. I know this is a little more expensive, but like, maybe I'm just a hater, but the series Redux art is just so, I hate it. I am going to pay the extra 100,000 coins so that my Plaxico looks like this. So 96 overall Plaxico Burris is gonna be our Giants player. I'm just excited because he's 6'5". I think that's the really cool thing here. I actually, I can use the Super Bowl Light It Up token. He's the very first player on this team who is a Super Bowl player. So I can use the Light It Up X Factor if you guys are confused on what that item is. This is the item that makes that George Karlaftis so fucking broken. He just sacked him against five! So now Plaxico Burris has access to a bunch of abilities. These are weird though. Deep Elite, Wide Receiver Apprentice, and Grab and Smash. Grab and Smash? What horny fucking weeb at EA? Come on, bro. Although Deep Elite Light It Up is insane. Improved catching on all deep passes for free lit up for the entire game. Definitely gonna rock that. And I, I actually have no AP to spare on offense. So I probably can't run anything else unless it's free. Can't run anything else, but that's fine. He's gonna be an insane impact. The only question is, um, who am I moving around here? We've got Tory Holt. We've got Steve Smith. We've got Jamar Chase. Okay, I love Tory Holt because he's like an iconic, you know, an iconic player. But I think Jamar Chase is better. And I know Plaxico's gotta be wide receiver one with Deep Elite. So I think we go Plaxico there. Wide receiver three is still Steve Smith. Sorry, Tory Holt. I love you, buddy. Our first wheel spin is actually a wide receiver upgrade. I didn't expect that today, but uh, hey, the Giants give. I appreciate it, New York. Yes! Hey, Trent Williams will not be the only team of your player on this lineup, but we don't actually really get to pick, sort of. Dude, this literally could be a punter. We get one team of the year player, but we don't get to choose position. Oh my, it's gonna be left guard. It's actually like, that's actually really good. It's actually crazy good considering our worst offensive line position is Geno Atkins. I liked having left guard Geno Atkins. He was a funny card to have. Uh, if I can replace that with a 97 overall, you bet your ass I'm replacing him with a 97 overall. Team of the year left guard. Well, I guess there's technically two options. There's Joel Bitonio if I wanted to go the 95 route, but um, something tells me I don't want to go the 95 route. 97 overall, Joe Tooney. Maybe he gets a zero AP ability as well. I kind of, I have to assume he does. Insane good card. His pass blocking is ridiculous. His run blocking is two. He's not as fast as Geno Atkins though. I did like how fast Geno Atkins was. So two zero AP abilities and then threat detector for three. Screen protector or puller elite? Okay, I really do not run plays that have the left guard pulling. Not often. Been a long time since I ran a play like that. Screen protector, I run slip screen every once in a while. That's pretty damn nice though. Screen protector in all day for absolutely nothing. Joe Tooney, we're gonna promote you to starter. Geno Atkins will move down in the depth chart and then I can activate Joe Tooney. All right, Joe Tooney, all day screen protector. So we got some big offensive line upgrades. We got a 96 overall Plaxico Burris. It was all offense headed into the wild card. Look at that left side of the line, dude. That's fucking diabolical. Nasty run team and a nasty pass team. This is this is a very well-rounded team. If I can get a right tackle next episode, we'll be in business, boys. Of course, we got the challenge wheel as well. One of any pack in the store if we can complete it. I'm not gonna lie to you boys, this seems fucking nasty. I don't know. Backup quarterback touchdown. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I have to make sure I have a backup quarterback. Right now, I don't think I have anybody in there. Tanner McKee. I do have a backup quarterback, and gentlemen. 68 overall, Tanner McKee. All right, challenge wheel is to get Tanner McKee a touchdown in the wild card playoff. All right, hey, you see it on your screen, baby. All oh, Madden playoffs. Survive the playoffs, and hopefully we can do that right now, and we can get Tanner McKee a touchdown. It could be passing. It could be rushing. It doesn't matter how we get it. What's my top three, man? Oh, Plaxico made it? Yo, how is Plaxico? making it over Tooney and Trent Williams. He's a 96. Got that home field advantage in the wild card, baby. Oh, we got the Crimsons on. Is this going to be the perfect season, boys? Oh my God, what am I looking at? Who is his quarterback? Donald Penn? How? Wait, what? This might be a, this might be a curb stomp, isn't it? Guys, I'm gonna just be honest with you. I'm not counting this game. No. So here's the problem. I just want everybody to be clued in on like how this works. So I'm actually in the All Madden playoffs. That's why you see the wild card logos like on my jerseys and on the field. The only problem is this game is gonna be such a blowout that I don't wanna I don't wanna count this. But it, it is gonna progress me through All Madden playoffs. So I'm gonna have to go play a Mutt Champions game instead. But the Mutt Champions game won't have the logos on the field. I just want you guys to know that because I know people people get pissed off they don't see the logos on the field. Do you want me to play this homeless man and count this game? Because I'm not 
going to. Just want everybody to be on the same page, that's all. <laughs> Joe Flacco. I should have subbed Tanner McKeon. I should have gotten my QB. Plaxico Dot. I like this Plaxico a lot. I'm excited about Plaxico. Ooh! I feel like the most infuriating defense I could use is just Samuel Blitz over and over and over. Don't juke. Oh, come on. If you want to throw it right here, you know you do. GG's. Just quit, please. Pete Werner has two and a half sacks. Yes. All right, let's get on to the real game. I'm not taking a poverty ass wild card win. Give me some comp. Ah! Ooh, let's go. Actually, a squad. He's got the team of the year, Reek. Lamar and Ray. Let's go, baby. And I still got home field advantage. This is exactly what we wanted. That team of the year, Tyreek Hill, has a raw 99 speed. Like, no boosts. 99. Honestly, I feel like for the last three straight years, Tyreek Hill has gotten a 99 speed team of the year card. This is RPO. Yes. Uh, he's not gonna be able to do that to me all game. Good start, but yeah, he's not gonna be able to do that to me all game. This is not RPO. Maybe it is. It actually could be. I don't think so. Yeah, it's not. Go with a quick check down. That's not going anywhere. Kind of just gonna fake the blitz here. I want this to look like it's a blitz, and then I can peel back with Carmichael, maybe get a lurk. He has nothing. No! I knew somebody was gonna get it! Sartan! Oh! Patrick Sertan, I knew that was the right choice. PS2 makes a big play. This is this is a random side note, but Patrick Sertan also got a team of the year card. So a potential prestige for this season could be PS2. It'd be our first prestige corner, which we definitely need. I'm gonna keep that in mind, but for now, let's get Jameer Gibbs cooking. Great start, juke left. Oh, he knew, nice play. That was a really nice play. That's a touchdown if he doesn't do that. Nice play. Also, I saw your guys' comments. The reason my RPOs weren't working well is because uh, I wasn't waiting long enough. So I need to remember to do that. I think I need to stick to the run so long as it was that effective. Look at Gronk on the Vanguard blocks. I love you, Gronk. Go right up the middle. Oh my God. Look at Tooney out there on the second level. Three rushes, 36 yards. Dude, you, if, you ever, if you average 12 fucking yards per carry, you'll never lose a ball game. All right, first and 10. That was a run commit. He knows I'm passing. I'm still doing it. I'm going Jamar. Damn. Damn, he was bad. I thought Jamar was going to get out of that cut and beat him. Holy shit, AJ Terrell was a magnet. A turnover apiece. And Ray Lewis is in a blue? Throws to the boundary. Damn, Devontae Adams gets ran over. Okay, so this is stretch alert bubble. Yep, yep. Absolutely bodied that. I, I, I told him he couldn't do that to me twice. <laughs> I'm in your walls! I'm actually in your walls watching you call plays. I'm telling you, he's blocking Ricky. I got a blitz ray. No. Yay! Let's go! Almost picked it! That was absolute textbook defense. I'm so proud of us right there. We're gonna get this ball back. And um, you know what's funny? I did the Matt Maher classic, bro. You know what the Matt Maher classic is? You run the ball so effectively, and then you throw a fucking interception. I'm not gonna lie. I, I really contemplated just hucking that to Plaxico because on a 50-50 ball, he's so huge. I feel like he'd probably come down with it, but the first down was the smart option. Three-man rush. They, they, they sleep on Joe Flacco. They sleep on Joe Flacco's speed. Now I go inside zone here. Gotta keep him honest. Did he just run commit? Third and inches, I'm going strong wing. Ooh, 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 shit. Oh, go Gronk, no! Who the fuck are you blocking, Gronk? Gronk, you have been the most consistent blocker. Who are you going to? There's only one man to block there. So this looks a lot like a run play, especially when you motion like that. Gronk, yo! Yo! I'm looking at Plaxico, Gronk! Dude, if that was like 0.1 second later, that's intercepted. Dude, I'm running strong wing play action, all right? I don't wanna hear shit about my play calling today. All right, two point conversion. I'm gonna go with the strong wing handoff. I'm going for two here to Jameer. Gotta cut it up. Find a way. That was bottled. That was bottled. We're just, we're making it work. Eight to zero, huge. I don't know if I'm gonna get so lucky on defense though. I just, I, I accurately predicted everything he was doing last time. I don't think I'm gonna do that again. All right, Bobo Biggie boy. I respect, I respect a good gamer tag. Guys, I wrote some down. If you guys want some good gamer tags, I wrote some of these down for you. Here's a few if you guys want them. Can you see that? There's Cum Chalice, Virginity Bandit, Sex Haver 69, that's me. Uh, Poo Poo Pee Pee. 
and um, ball fondlers. Wait, there's one more. Ad Adolf, Adolf Drippler. That was the one that I was thinking of the other day. Uh, second and inches, actually a great opportunity to get a stuff here, especially if he goes stretch. He does go stretch. Come on, come on, come on. Um, that Ricky Williams is breaking tackles. Okay, why is coach suggesting a 5-3 down lineman set? Come on, Derwin. Dude, sticky Ricky's pissing me off. This clock management's big here because I get ball at half. So optimally, he needs to score with no time left. I can't let him keep throwing into the flats. I'm putting Will Anderson in the flats. I'm going to use her Stingley. Just got to let him set up. He's got nothing. He's got absolutely nothing. It's a fumble. Who recovered that? Gino Atkins. Lamar scrambling for his life. Nick Bosa against Lamar Jackson. Of course he's going to go hard. Oh, there was years of oppression he took out there. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Second and eight. I can't come out in that formation. Okay, you know what I actually will do? I'm going to come out in RPO Zone Alert Omaha. You guys were telling me in the comments. Recently, you've seen me get this pirouette animation. It ruins the play. I got to hang out to the ball a little longer, and I won't get the pirouette. That was literally perfect, and I think I got a flag. Shit. I think I got a flag for throw illegal... Tony! Well, I guess you do run that risk, though, right? So if you hold on to the ball a little bit longer, you run the risk of an illegal man downfield. For Plaxico. 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 Oh, it's not. Oh my fucking god. It's not perfect accuracy. If it, if a six foot five fucking behemoth of a man can't suck his dick on it. Oh my god. What do you mean perfect accuracy out of reach? I didn't even need a. It's my fault. It's my fault. I didn't need to freeform that. He torched that man so fucking bad that his ancestors felt it. Oh my god. I'm going Plaxico. Ah, no, I can't go for the dig, Matt. I'm really gonna get nothing out of that fucking possession. I had two touchdowns on this stupid drive, and I'm gonna get a field goal. I'm, I am tilted. Oh, my God. Suck me dry. Leave me out to dry. Impregnate me. Slap me. Name the kid Alfred. Flee for Mexico. Join the cartel. And f just bend me over. I better not need those points. I tell you what. I make, I, make my, I make my living. I make my wheel of my living on defense, not on offense. So let's just keep balling out. Not gonna matter. Come on, throw the tight end. Ugh, this homeless man. Ricky. <gasps> oh, I was so close. I actually bagged that. I just manually bagged the whip route. I'm very proud of myself right there. He's trying to score no time left, but honestly, he's taking too much time. Gun empty quads. I'm sending the six-man blitz. I, my responsibility is 81. Heater. Fucking heater. He's got to call a timeout. Let's go. I actually send the blitz again. If I can sack him right here, he gets nothing out of this possession. Like, at all. No! Fuck, it's Tyreek. That's why. Tyreek is so fast. I don't think he runs the ball. Is that a slip screen? I got bodies. I actually have so many bodies. You're not going anywhere. Second to 10, nine seconds left. This is a really interesting spot for him. I don't know what he goes for here, honestly, so I'm just going to have to look at everything. Oh my God, what are you doing? <laughs> That's why you don't risk it, Stingley. Oh, dude, Ricky Williams is making so many big plays. That's a pick six if Ricky's not there. All right, 11 0. What did I say? I make I make my wheel about living on defense. All right, first and 10. Got to stick to our absolutely potent run game. I'm going all the way to the edge. Ooh. Second and five. I'm actually going to go weak side on this. This will be running me at Plaxico. Jamar with a really good block. His user makes a nice play. That's third and two. Does he expect the same thing? Just kind of hilarious. So he pressed, <laughs> he pressed his DBs thinking that would help the run, but it actually doesn't. It just lets my wide receivers get on him sooner. Duh. Fucking laser beam. What do we think about a Plaxico laser beam down the middle? Oh my God, it's there. It's there. It's there. Plaxico. Goal line normal. Joe Flacco, Tanner McKee. Tanner McKee is in, gentlemen. We are tush pushing behind Tanner McKee. He's got three shots at it. First one. He got a yard. He does that again. He's in. They know what I'm doing. They're well aware. Get a body on Ray. No, McKee. You're lying. You're lying, buddy. No, you can get this, buddy. Tanner McKee. Challenge wheel complete. That is the greasiest way to complete a challenge wheel, but it is a challenge wheel complete. I tell you what, those RPOs, now that I figured it out, eesh, these are deadly. You gotta love a formation where you get to use her, Sean Taylor. He's gotta make something happen, and he's gotta make it happen fast. <sighs> he 
He's honestly like, what's crazy, he's playing a really good game and then he just crumbles. The fumble's not really his fault, but he just can't punch it in there, man. He can't close. He's at the bar. He's risen up all the girls, but at the end of the night, he doesn't go home with anybody. So what does it matter? He can't close. It's not, you're not the only one, buddy. I know many gentlemen who can't close. Uh what? Come here, Lamar, you little bitch. Devontae Adams corner somehow caught that ball. How did he not get it? This was a dot. What happened here? No, Devontae just undercut it. Yeah. All right, let's get redemption on that fucking Plaxico ball. So he's got two high safeties. This safety is going to have to take Jamar's post, and I'm pretty sure I can still just free form up. No, I can't. Shit. I'm homeless. I'm homeless. I don't have a home. We don't gotta talk about it. We don't have to talk about it. Come on, throw the bubble. I don't know. He wants this, he wants this, he wants this. Yes, you do. Don't test me, boy. Hey! <laughs> this thing is just soaked with my saliva. That's crazy. Do it, throw it. Ay! I do that for? How long were you muted for? Oh no! Boys, I think at some point when I was sucking on this, I think I muted it. Oh no. I don't know how long it was for, but boys, it was 19 to 0. I just threw an absolute laser beam and that's ball game. So you didn't really miss much. Dude, what an absolute curb stop. We are balling out. We really might get the perfect season. I want to be clear though. I did not play a very good offensive game. His defense was giving me trouble and I was just not playing well. Unless I can literally let have my defense carry me that hard every single time. It's gonna get a lot harder from here so gotta lock in offensively next game but right now we get one of any pack in the store i'm gonna go ultimate legends once again this is really just to grab a potential prestige player because we know that every ultimate legend is gonna have damn this is actually like this is an actually an amazing prestige option i could prestige charles woodson then i would get the 97 charles woodson corner or is he safety actually no collinsworth probably not strand probably not thank collinsworth for fun and this does he have a really good card why do i feel like isaiah simmons does have a really good card. He does. Isaiah Simmons has a really good combine card. A 96 overall combine. Not gonna do that. I have Ray Lewis prestiged. I think Charles Woodson is a really good option. Yeah, Charles Woodson has a 97 overall corner, but also Patrick Sertan has a 97 overall corner team of the year. Both are really good options. I'm glad that we picked him up. Alright, boys. Wild cards in the books. Let's take a look, though, at who our potential prestige options are. We still gotta get through the NFC Championship, but if we do, we'll get to prestige one player from this team. Not gonna lie, Mike Allstott's actually a decent option. I don't think he'll get an ultimate legend. He definitely could since he is a legend, but having a good fullback is always nice. Now, another good option. I don't think any of these wide receivers are good enough options. I think we'll just rock Jamar and then have to fill in players as we go. Trent Williams is already prestige. I, I very technically could go Joe Tooney and just have two awesome offensive linemen. Not sure I do that though. Right now, I really do think the best option is Patrick Sertan. Patrick Sertan, this Patrick Sertan is already nasty. Uh, he's been making some really good plays for us. Uh, he's 6'2", which is, I absolutely love and then he did get a team of the year so i can go 97 patrick sertan that's a really good option we have no corners prestige if i wasn't gonna go patrick sertan i don't even know who i'd go to be honest he's our best option so since we picked up that 94 overall wide receiver charles woodson i'll throw him in this means i could prestige 97 charles woodson corner i'm leaning towards patrick sertan mainly because i feel like most broncos fans are just in utter shambles tears just check in on your friends okay if they're broncos fans just check in on them i feel like that's the right thing to do and i feel like maybe we could save some lives with the Patrick Sertan. The Patrick Sertan prestige. Head into the NFC Championship. We look amazing. I love you boys. Thanks for watching as always. I'll see you in the NFC Championship. Peace.